these vows offered will remain strong and true and abiding in the presence of unconditional love all the days of their lives. May each of us present feel the strength and depth of Shauna Marissa's love and experience a rebirth of the power of love in our own lives. We ask these things in the name of Jesus and give thanks that it is so. Sean, you and I both know how indecisive I can be. But the one thing I have never questioned is spending my life with you. From the beginning, you have shown me the most amazing qualities in a man, in a husband, and a father. You are compassionate, understanding, reliable, and the most hardworking man I have ever met. Your ability to compromise when needed without sacrificing either of our values is genuinely appreciated. Your love, dedication, and relationships and relationships with each of our daughters has given me an even deeper love and respect for you. You have shown me what a truly blessed life has to offer. I am so grateful that God chose me to be your wife and the mother of your children. This is one of God's answered prayers, because before I knew you, I prayed for you. Thank you for loving me and all of my imperfections. Thank you for choosing me every day. You are my best friend and my one true love. So today, in front of our closest friends and family, I vow to never go to bed angry and to always kiss you goodnight. I vow to listen when you need to be heard, even if it's about Costco. <laughs> and I promise to try not to always have the last word. I vow to never lose sight of the little things, like the way you drop everything to answer my calls, and how every morning you leave a coffee pod right next to the Keurig just for me. How you always open doors for me on all of our date nights. I vow to listen to your advice and occasionally take it. <laughs> I vow to never keep score, even if I'm totally winning. <laughs> I promise you my unconditional love, tenderness, and undying devotion. To not ask you to be more than you are, and to always love you for being you. Sean, most importantly, I vow today and every day forward to love you something fierce. <laughs> Should I tell you of the dreams I'm having? On second thought, maybe you don't feel the same about it. But I'll try to find ways Marissa, I've grown up with excellent examples of what a family is and what love is in a family and what it looks like. And when I met you, I knew that all became, that all became true and a reality. You were my best friend, my person I can be myself around. When I was thinking about what I was going to say in this moment, I thought I could be profound or quote someone somewhere that said something that relates to love. But I hesitated and thought I would tell you what your love means to me. Your love is unconditional. Warm, never ending. The feeling that you get when you wake up and you know that with all the stuff going on in the world that today will be a better because I get to spend a day and forever with you in it. Your love goes beyond the meaning of just the Darling, it's you, Mr. and Mrs. Davis. I promise that you will, that I will 
kill all the bugs, ants, flies, crickets, and especially all the spiders. Definitely all the spiders. Marissa, I love you and will always love you from the moment I met you and for always. You and me But until then oh, oh. I'll have to wait all this time Waiting for the day you'll be mine You'll make it all okay When you make up your mind I know it's crazy But you're worth the waiting oh, oh, oh. Just open up your eyes so you can see What I see what I see, oh, I'll have to wait all this time, waiting for the day you'll be mine, you'll make it all okay, when you make up your mind, I'm always crazy. But you're worth the waiting. Oh.